in our clinic, we use a, a very high fat, moderate protein and low carbohydrate diet. And the types of ketogenic diets that we use with patients and ratios, which we'll go over briefly next, is um, variable term, in terms of patient to patient, um, what their goals are, maybe what their diagnosis is, how much weight loss they've already had. There's a lot that goes into determining the right ratio for someone, and I don't have um, a, a blank ratio that I use for just about everyone. Um, and we use this because it mimics the metabolism that's seen in fasting, um, which is that ketone body, that high concentration of ketones and the low concentration of glucose. Um, so this is just a, a, a table to show that there is not just one way to achieve and maintain ketosis. There are different types of ketogenic diets that one may follow in order to maintain that metabolic therapy to um, maintain that state of ketosis. So it could be something from a four to one, which refers to the grams of fat to the grams of protein and carbohydrates combined. So if we're looking at something like a three to one, which we typically use with our brain tumor population, that's about 82 to 85% fat. Um, and then we have modified Atkins, low glycemic index treatment, medium chain triglyceride diet. We won't go into too much detail, um, but those are also options for patients who may wanna have a little bit more leeway or maybe perhaps for um, maintaining if they wanted to do this after treatment. Those would be better options um, to sustain if, if they're having trouble meeting the higher fat needs. Thank you.